I got kind of caught up. That Gina Carr, oh my gosh, she is so anointed. Mm. I am a worshiper. I love music. saw me the last time I was working out and also I wanted to let you know like my clothes are kind of getting big and I have reached my goal that I have been working on for almost 20 years because my son will be 20 this year is being under 200 pounds I'm just a little bit under 200 pounds but I'm still under 200 pounds and I'm so I'm still working at this thing and I actually just left the gym about maybe 30 30 minutes ago so I want you guys to journey along with me um, as I, I fix a few things that I like. Hi, real quickly. This is a quick snack right after your workout. In fact, this is something that you probably can have in a container, you know, when you come outside after your workout. This is really good. It has strawberries. Look. Blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and watermelon. All of my favorites. I want to show you um, some of the things that I'm going to be using before I start cooking. This is a ninja. It's not very expensive. I got it from Kroger um, over there with the appliances. It's only $19.99. And this thing chops up really good. You will see, I'm gonna use this to make my homemade dressing. Because I, as I've been following Dr. Sebi, um food list, maybe he does not like lemons. Lemons is not on the list. So as I was looking for dressings, it seemed like everything had lemons in it. Um, so I decided to make my own dressing and I'm going to use this $19.99 Kroger. Uh, here is a cast iron skillet. This is new because my old one, my daughter has it and I have no idea where it is. You know, I'm an empty nesser and so I don't cook very often. Well, lately I have been cooking more because, um, I really, there's really hard to find a restaurant that's just straight up alkaline. So I'm gonna cook it more at home. So, and this cast iron is really good because it has no chemicals. Everybody who knows who, I'm a 70s baby. So back in the day, this is basically what our ancestors cooked with a, a cast iron skillet. It's easy to clean, and like I said, it's chemical free. And we're gonna give you some more information of why it's good to cook with cast iron cookware so the first thing that I'm gonna cook is the salad and like I said I'm gonna use the ninja to make the dressing organic zucchini I, I love anything that's organic <laughs> for my salad I'm going to use is organic 50% 50-50 blend of greens 
And I got it, as you can see, from Whole Foods. Only $3.99. Of course, I, I love kale, so this is kale, and I got this from Whole Greens too. And you see, as you can see, it's organic. Yes, I love organic, and it's not that expensive. It was only $2.99, so we're going to put this in here too. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in here because I'm not sure who's going to help me eat this salad. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to make too much but again I'm gonna put this in there I'm just gonna do some more Here is some cranberries and glazed walnuts. Um, both of these are on Dr. Sabi list, walnuts and cranberries. So if I was to use something else besides greenery right now, it would be this. But let's see. Look at that, it's so green. Look at that. It's so fresh and green. I love this. Okay. Alright. Now we have that. And like I said, we just add this as, as, as we go along if we want some of it. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to make the dill cucumber dressing. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make my cucumber dill dressing. It's an alkaline dressing. This is fresh organic cucumber. This is fresh dill. And agave is in the original recipe, but I really I used it the first time I made it, but to me it tastes better without it because I like um, bitter stuff, dill stuff, but for you who want that little sweet taste to it and not the dill out of it, this would be ideal. And it's also, like I said, it's in the original recipe. Um, sea salt. Me, personally, I don't use a lot of seasonings. Um, like I said, I'm following Dr. Sabi food list. So if the season is on the list, I use it. So pretty much for this um, recipe, I use sea salt. And I'm going to use onion powder. It calls for onion powder. And if you don't ha have fresh dill at home, then, you know, of course you have it in the season, um, the, the little dill chunks. This is avocado oil. This is also, this also goes in with the recipe. And some lime juice. <laughs> so, and we're gonna blend it. So. Looks really good, doesn't it? All right, let me make some of the salad. Let's try it. Okay. All right. Just a little bit more zucchini. I love zucchini. All right. So this is the dressing. 
Isn't that pretty and green? Like I said, I don't know if I really want the cranberries and walnuts in it, but let's see. Mm. Yeah. You want to taste it, dude? <laughs> yeah, I can try some. He, he already said he don't want to taste it, y'all. <laughs> Let me tell you about this kid. We went to go see the Lakers play. I spent almost $100 because he didn't like not including my meal because he was he wasn't like in the um the vegan restaurant he said you have to ease yourself into being a raw vegan whatever that means but anyway this is really good mm. okay all right maybe he'll try the next thing this is good the next thing i'm going to make is some okra and quinoa so stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. All right, the next meal for today would be something I don't have a name for it. <laughs> I just made it up. I love okra because okra makes me feel nostalgic because my one of my mothers, um, God rest her soul, um, who's in heaven, I know. She loved okra. And she would grow. She had a green thumb. She would grow her vegetables. So this is um, fresh okra. I'm gonna make some fresh okra, and I have some peppers. And I have um, to make it more colorful. I got green, yellow, and red. Um, I know most people eat okra and tomato, which I do sometimes too. But I'm not really a big fan of tomato. I remember. Um, a long time ago, I had I, I bit into a tomato and it it, it um it was rotten. So like I, I I've been ruined ever since. So I do eat tomatoes, but very rare. So, but like I said, I want to feel this nostalgic. So, and again, we don't have to go by rules because I always been, you know, not one to go along with everything. I always been set apart. So, like I said, I don't know if this is a recipe or not, but I'm going to make the okra with the peppers and with some onions. I also have some more onions. I have the white onions, which I don't know what my son did with them. Oh, here they go. I have the white onions that I'm going to add with it too. I love, as you can see, I love onions. And I'm going to make some organic quinoa. So, so we're going to have the okra, the peppers, and the quinoa. And this is a quick, easy, nutritionist, alkaline meal. So come and join while I make this. So good for so many other things which some of you probably already know in fact turmeric is used in most man-made medicines and it's also good for cooking and I'm gonna put a little turmeric in the quinoa grapeseed oil is so good if you want your vegetables to still keep its color this is a great oil to use it's good and it's healthy grapeseed oil you see um, out of it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add a little broth to it just in case my son eats some of it so it can have a little bit more flavor. This is a vegetable broth, it's organic, it's low sodium, fat free, it's vegan and gluten free. And I got this from Whole Foods. Look how pretty that is. You want your vegetables crunchy. 
I don't know if my son would eat them crunchy, but crunchy the better. All right, so I cannot let the day go by without fixing something that my youngest son would possibly eat at another time because he is an athlete. Matter of fact, him and LeBron are my favorite basketball players. That's right. No, I'm not Tasha Mack, I'm Veronica Tucker. Mm, keep a watch out for us. But anyway, um, this name brand, Phil Rose. Phil Rose is a good name brand. Um, once again, I, I don't do soy, I don't do gluten. This, the only reason why I, I'm not eating this particular burger at this point in time is because I am being more of an echoline girl. And this has carrots and garlic in it, and that is not on Dr. Sadie's list. However, it's very flavorful and it's very good. Of course, I wouldn't give my son something that I wouldn't eat. So I probably would eat this on a cheat day. So I'm going to grill the burger. And we have some whole wheat buns. We got to video him eating this because you know, healthy wheat buns. <laughs> That's my boy. And we're gonna use, we just, we're not gonna use a whole lot of stuff for the burger. We'll use some vegan mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna grill the burger. And what I like about this burger is not greasy. And see, it's a handmade burger. This 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 is a good quality um, brand vegan burger. So we're gonna grill the burger and get a little grill on it. Most people know that vegan cheese is kind of hard to melt, so you might need this on here just a little longer. If you're going, if you're a vegan person, if you like mayo on your burgers, they do. I do. I would recommend um, an avocado. Hmm, that melt kind of fast. You saw that? Um, the avocado mayo, that's pretty good. Uh, and I, I also do not do dairy products either. I don't do dairy. I don't do gluten, um, soy. Um, I'm, I'm a strictly alkaline girl right now. Well, I'm about to uh, try this vegan burger. I'm gonna try it out. Uh, I, don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, Alright, well, I'm about to try it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Mm. It's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Not bad for real, though. It's pretty good. Good. I mean, would you add anything to it? Mm, no, not necessarily, no. I just like it plain like this. Just cheese. Mozzarella cheese on it. Maybe too much on it. Y'all see that face? You better look for it. Not saying it just because he's my son, but the heavens have spoken. Isn't he handsome? He's so helpful. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for the okra, the okra meal, the okra surprise. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> All right. We're back with my test, my handsome taste tester. <laughs> we have my okra surprise. It's normally called okra and tomato. And of course I have the organic quinoa and my son has never had quinoa. So this will be his first time tasting it. Mm -hmm. And the okra, instead of having tomato, it has pepper and onions mixed with the okra. So why don't you give us a taste, give it a taste. My son is not a vegan eater. He's just trying this out for me.
be not honest. <laughs> I feel like I say not bad all the time. Right, it's you not do. Bad. I don't know what else we need to explain. You might want to kind of mix it in with the, the quinoa and the... Mm, this is good though. The okra, kind of mix it together because most people use quinoa that, you know, use it as a rice supplement. You know, if you like somebody that like rice, quinoa, of course, is, is better for you. It's a protein. And it's also on the Acalon list. Mm. I like the okra. You don't too much like the quinoa? Mm, it's not bad, it's just don't, it don't really have a taste to me like that. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's just there. Oh wow. But the okra surprise is good, right? Yeah, it is good. Okay. Well, I am about to try this okra and quinoa surprise. Like I said, I don't know if it's a recipe or not, but I come from a long line of cooks. My, my mother was a great cook, and don't tell him, but Andre, my brother, Andre Johnson, he is practically one of the best cooks I know, but don't tell him I told you that, because he already got a big head. But anyway, um, with my meal, I want me some juice. So yes, I'm drinking out a wine glass because I always like wine glasses. They are so cute and it just makes you feel, I don't know, sophisticated. But I'm gonna put some green juice. This is an organic green juice. It has cucumber, celery, grapefruit, uh, lettuce, lemon, kale. I did not know it had lemon, but we're gonna drink it today. <laughs> pour a little bit of this. I'm gonna mix it. <laughs> And some watermelon juice and you got to make sure you shake these things up really good some watermelon juice I love this juice Look at that. some watermelon with blueberry mm. it's gonna be good D. <laughs> Let me taste the quinoa with the turmeric. Mm. Oh yeah, this is good. I don't always put broth with my quinoa, but I wanted to add a little bit more flavor since my son was eating it. <laughs> Tastes good. A lot of my friends, they, they'd be like, your taste buds have changed. And I'm like, no, it hasn't. I am so absolutely happy eating this way. I really am. I know certain people, when they first hear about my lifestyle change, they'll be like, why are you depriving yourself from, you know, from eating meat? And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm not depriving myself because I actually like eating this way. And I know when me and my son went to a Laker game, one of my friends was like, why in the world? It was a fun day. Why in the world would you take him to a vegan restaurant? She, she was like, who eats healthy on, on a, on a, um, when you're having fun? I was like, me? She's like, because you think eating healthy is fun. I do. Like, eating is fun. If you're going to eat, let's eat to live. And to me, I do. I, I enjoy cooking. And I don't, like I said, when, when I was married, I did cook. I, I cooked all the time. I cooked. I had two jobs and was going to school. But I still cook. So I love cooking. And mm, this is good. And plus, eating this way is, has me much healthier. I do want to share with you guys. Like I said, I reached my goal of getting under 200 pounds. So, and I'm still not exactly where I want to be. So I'm continuing. This is a lifestyle. Mm, let, me, let me taste this juice. <laughs> oh man. That is the bomb.com, honey. That's just as good as your wine or whatever you drink. I ain't judging you, but but that is good. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. You may know by the time you see this video, I am doing a seven day countdown on all my social media. I have a big surprise, a big announcement. 
is something that I've been a project that I've been working on that is God ordained. I've been working on this project for over 10 years and it's coming to fruition this year, 2019. Nine is the number of com being complete. I am 45. Four plus five is nine. So this is my year. I know every year we all said it. Every year is my year. But last year, I tell you, I grew so much last year. And I'm so looking forward to everything that God has for me this year. And not just for me, but for those that are connected to me. My son, my children, my grandson, everybody that's around me. Everybody that God has connected me to. I want you guys to stay positive. I don't care if you have to start this thing over and over again. Just do just that. Your mind, body, and soul is so important. We are spirit. We don't just have, we don't have a spirit. We are spirits. This is a shell. This is a shell. And we are here legally. God put made us in his image. And he made us to do his will. He want us to adapt his culture. And we need this body to do his will here on earth. So, like I said, just make sure you're taking care of your temple. Faith and fitness go hand in hand, most definitely. If you are a woman or a man of God, you got to be um, combining these two things, faith, faith and fitness, in order to do your will here on earth. Like I said, thank you for joining here, me here at VTalk, me and my son. We really had a great time with you all. And see you next time. I love you without a price tag. Kingdom blessings.